So you most when you are eight years old, you know what problem an eight year old faces. When you are nine years old, you know what problem a nine year old faces. When you are ten years old, you know what problem a ten year old faces. When you are thirteen, you know what problem a thirteen year old faces. When you are fifteen, you know what problem a fifteen year old faces. When you are sixteen, you know what problem a sixteen year old faces. However, unfortunately, something like this. I never knew. Nobody told me that if you don't study history today, later on in life, when you are in a group setting, when people are talking about history, you have nothing to say. Nobody told me that, but nobody made me understand that, and it's impossible. <laughs> and the reason is, our human nature is we will, our, our human nature is we will understand a problem only when it happens to us, unfortunately. And our ancestors realized that there is a way by which we can teach everybody all the problems, all the challenges, much ahead of time, through. One story, because this one story, this one single story, has characters that have spanned four generations, till about 120 years old. Till about 120 year, years old, they have spanned so many characters across so many years, all types of characters, good, bad, ugly, everybody, and said, study the story. And by virtue of studying the story, and by virtue of studying the story, we would create a connection with each of these characters, live their life, and when the day comes, when we are in the dilemma, you have grown up, and you have a choice, you have a problem, and that problem says, oh my god, I have to do something about it. Can I do something constructive, or can I start drinking and kill my life? You will know exactly what to do. And for that reason, the story is important for it to be a part of your life every day. Little, little. Check. How many of you know the Mahabharata? 